So very recently, I've been doing sort of like a deep dive on Kickstarter and showing you some upcoming projects that you might want to spend your money on. And, you know, that is said with full sarcasm because they're usually pretty, pretty shy. But I figured what I'd do is show you some of the games that have been funded, show you where, you know, how much money it takes to make a real MMORPG and what you've missed out on and what you could still get in on if you are if you are looking for something new to play. You know, these are these are gems because nobody even knows these exist other than a very, very small population. And, you know, we're going to find out in a minute exactly why it's a small population. But if you've ever wanted to, you know, be a be a vampire, then, you know, here's what $80,000 on Kickstarter would get you. Have you dreamed of being immortal? Yeah. Have you dreamed of exploring dark secrets and bending others to your will? Have you waited no. so very long for a massively multiplayer game that would let you and your friends band together to dominate a society of vampires? Then Can't say I have. Creature of the night. So, as you can see, exactly what you'd expect if somebody said, you know, we're going to make a vampire MMO, social vampire MMO, uh, you know, clubs with vampire avatars dancing it looks very reminiscent of second life if you've ever been in a sex dungeon in that game which you know stuff happens just just gonna leave that one there i'm not going to show you all of this video because it's mostly the developers sitting there talking about you know why they need your money and and what they're making the game for and stuff like that which we know why they're making the game it's because they they have some form of um fetish for vampires which you know like what you like i'll show you a little bit of gameplay just in case you are still interested if you want to get on get on the game you can go and pledge i was going to do it but i've already spent an absolute metric ton of money this month on you know ps5 and stuff like that this wasn't at the top of my priority list but if you guys want to see me play this and potentially get you know sexually assaulted by by people with a vampire fetish then you'll just have to let me know in the comments maybe it's something we can arrange but as, as you can see exactly what you'd expect sordid sex dungeons uh i'm gonna imagine there's a whole bunch of erotic roleplay going on in this one because people aren't playing this one for the gameplay i'm just gonna throw that one out there definitely not playing this one for the gameplay but there you go There you go. That that one is Shadow's Kiss. That was $80,000 on Kickstarter. They're still updating this game. August 14th was the last update, talking about their... Let's see what they've added recently. Uh, friends, fellow creatures of the night. We've pushed our 33rd patch since Kickstarter. So they've got the Lower Slums, the Grand River Cemetery East, St. Thomas Square Subway Station, and the Undercity. So <coughs> I did also notice something else quite funny while I was on here. So I will just show you that one real quick. So if you ever wanted to know why Crowfall, the MMORPG, has has failed to really hit home, it's because obviously they've lost all of their best talent to, to the vampire fetish MMORPG world. Because, you know, here at 17 years of MMO experience, someone from Crowfall, Shadowbane, Pirates of the Burning Sea, Wizard 101, and Shadowbane, Rise of the Chaos... So we know where all the talent in the industry has gone. Apparently, it's sex games. And next up, of course, we have possibly worse or or maybe better, depending on, on what you enjoy, Furcadia. So if you've got a fursona, which is essentially your alter ego, it's like your Clark Kent to your Superman, where you like to pretend you're an animal and erotically roleplay with other people that are pretending that they're some kind of animal, then we've got you fam so i didn't know until i was talking about this on stream yesterday check out the video link the twitch link in the video description probably be live right after this if you didn't know furcadia is actually the old one of the oldest mmorpgs ever made we always talk about ultima online being like the grandfather the the mac daddy of mmos one of the ones who started it all of course meridian as well being one of them but furcadia started in 1996 which predates ultima online so really all of us kind of owe for acadia maybe for for what we have today with the 
the cat girl races that we we've known to we've come to know and love so i can't really show you any gameplay here because there isn't any i'm not going to watch this video because it you know I'm not trying to kink shame anyone but it is kind of cringe to me personally because i don't you know this is not my thing I did find this gameplay video here, and I did look up a couple of other videos, so I do have some context and some information to give you. Firstly, you'll notice here a random square covering the cat person's uh, midsection. The reason for this is because that's probably a furry cock. Now, you know, nothing wrong with that, but, you know, you can, you can be a lot of things in this game if you're that way inclined. You can walk around and go to different different areas basically like have a hotel or something you go into different dreams and in those dreams you can get fucked by a cat girl or a cat boy or you know a lizard man whatever whatever it is that that floats your fancy now i did look at some of the videos and some of the things that some of the rooms and there was you know all the classics there was the the yiffing high school academy which did tell you it's 18 plus don't enter unless you want to do a bit of yiffing which, you know, Google that on your own time. I'm not here to, to give away the trade secrets or anything like that. But yeah, if you wanted to know what $100,000 on Kickstarter gets you, Furcadia is, is what that gets you. This is still running. There's still, you know, you can still go and play this. I think this one's free to play. Might have to give it a bash. You'll have to let, let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in seeing me do. And if it is, I'm going to have to, you know, ask you a couple of questions. One, why are you doing this to me? Two, why do you want to see that, you you absolute degen degenerate? But either way, thank you very much, as always, for, for watching this video. Hopefully, there's some more uh, interesting content out there coming up, and I won't have to ask myself what I'm doing with my life, looking up games about furries and vampires. But again, not trying to kink shame anyone. Everyone's into something different, and if this is what you're into, I've just delivered an absolute gem to you, and you can check these ones out on your own time. Just don't tell me about it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Peace.